G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be doing my tips for round 11 of the season. We are almost halfway through the home and away which is quite unbelievable. What else is unbelievable or maybe it's not? Lang's still at the top of the table. This man cannot be stopped sitting at 63 right at the moment leading by one and May also have the score in his favour as well. I'm going to have to control plus into here. Yes, yep, plenty of uh, margin for error there. Um, I've jumped a few places. I think I was sitting around 16th this time and jumped up to 13th. So, yeah, slowly making my way back into the top eight. And let's see if we can uh, get that a little bit closer. Just have to take it step by step. Don't go too crazy or too wild. But who knows what I'll do this week. <sighs> All right. We have a tough one to start off with. Potentially tough, depending on how you look at it. We have the Doggies and the Swannies. This one is at Marvel Stadium. Dogs, they... Who did they have previously? They defeated GWS. Yes, I did not expect them to win that. Uh, and they did. Comfortably, somewhat. Then Sydney, they... Also played very well. They're playing some, yeah, brilliant football. Got the job done over the Blues. Haven't played too much at the Marvel Stadium, I must say, of late. I'm going to go to the Western Bulldogs. A little bit of a upset here. I think they haven't played there too much. Doggies have been in good touch when they have played in there. Swannies, they have, they're in such, I know they're in such amazing form. Um, I feel like the Doggies the last couple of weeks have been really positive. Um... Yeah, and like Sydney just can't go like this the whole season. It's just impossible. So they're going to have a bit of a dip at some stage. Doggies are relatively hot. Uh, then Sydney will go into a buy. So, yeah, it's it's a little bit of a hunch, a bit of an upset. Obviously, I can't tip the favourites for the rest of the season. Otherwise, uh, I'm not going to be going too well. And I think that's just one where yeah, the Doggies might be able to catch them out at, uh, at the fast deck of Marvel. So we'll see. We'll see. I think Sydney are the better team, but... Yeah, maybe the dogs might be able to get the job done on the night away from their home deck, Sydney. Friday night, we have Fremantle and Collingwood. This one will be at Optus Stadium. Dockers have played some pretty solid footy, although they haven't been kicking straight of late. Got the job done over the Saints at Marvel, which was a decent win for them. Collingwood, they had Adelaide and again, another close game. I think they've won the last three games against the Crows by a less than a kick. No matter where it's at, they win close games against the Crows. I reckon this is going to be somewhat close, but I think the Pies will be too strong. I don't know how free our favourites, but 28% have tipped them. Don't really understand that. But yeah, Collingwood in absolutely ripping touch. And yeah, they haven't lost since uh, round two or their third game of the season. So yeah, I think they'll have the, the weapons to get the job done. They're usually a good side on the road as well. Then we go to Marvel Stadium. Speaking of sides not travelling very well or can't travel very well, more so. Gold Coast are travelling okay, but when they go to anywhere that's not Darwin or not Gold Coast, uh, they forget how to play footy. Uh, <laughs> hopefully get egg on my face this week. But going for Carlton on this occasion, they went down to the Swans last week and Gold Coast touched up the Cats big time in Darwin. I think, yeah, Carlton to get back on the winners list at home uh, should be too good to... Yeah, get the job done. Gold Coast, as I said, they can win in Darwin. They can win in Gold Coast. I don't think they know how to win anywhere else at this point in time. You can tell I've tipped them previously away from home and it hasn't served me well. So, yeah, can't really get the job done. Bluntstone Arena, we've got North Melbourne hosting Port Adelaide. Uh, North, they were relatively competitive against the Bombers at first half and probably first two and a half quarters. Then Bombers broke away late. And Port Adelaide got out of jail. Uh, that's an understatement. Should should not have won that game and probably shouldn't have won the week before against the Cats, but uh, I digress. Port Adelaide winning this one comfortably. They've been... Well, they've played well against North Melbourne of, uh, of recent times. I'm sure a lot of teams have. And they've also played some good footy at Blundstone against North, so it hasn't been a too troublesome of a venue for them to play at. Gosh, this one's a... This is almost a 12-point game, this one. Uh, both teams lost three in a row here. Geelong at the Cattery hosting the GWS Giants. And would you believe it? Giants have won three on the trot at the Cattery, um, which is quite remarkable. All under very interesting and extenuating circumstances. 
I reckon the Cats will get back on the winners list here. Everyone's going to be tipping Geelong. I, I did say when, going into the season that I reckon the Giants are going to win. And if you looked at their first five weeks, I'd, I'd be tipping the Giants or leaning towards them. Um, but yeah, I just think I don't think Geelong have ever lost four in a row under Chris Scott. Could be a first time. I hope it's not. Uh, I might tell the joint down if it is. But yeah, I think we're, we're still struggling that midfield. But uh, Hawkins back, Cameron back, Duncan probably back. I suspect, yeah, most of our stars will be in, minus uh, Paddy. But, yeah, Giants haven't been travelling well. If they play their grand final against us, I'll bloody spew up, I'll tell you. But I think we'll be, yeah, good enough to get the job done in a close one. Over to the MCG, and we have got Richmond and Essendon <sighs> fighting it out. Saturday night, stream time at the G. Uh, yeah, the Tigers obviously had their colours lowered a fair bit lately. Uh, they went down by almost 120 points to the Dogs, who were, yeah touched them up big time. Then the Bombers got a 40 point win over North. Did, did what they had to do there. Uh, Essendon to be too strong here. Sorry, Richmond. Uh, too many injuries. Yeah, it's it's uh, pretty tough going at the moment. Then we go over to Sunday. We have Hawthorne hosting Brisbane. They are, yeah, this is going to be interesting. Because I reckon Hawthorne have had a really good record against them of late. Had some good form of late. Probably should have won three on the trot. Didn't quite. But yeah, Brisbane, well, they they won, uh, yeah, massively. Actually, I think I've got my uh, wires crossed here. I reckon, yeah, Richmond lost to Brisbane by 119 and the Dogs uh, beat them by 93. So yeah, circling all the way back there. At least I'm pretty sure I did. Sleep hasn't been too generous to me the last 24 hours, but that's all right. I think Brisbane will be too strong uh, regardless. But, yeah, a little bit of a banana peel game. And, yeah, Hawthorne, uh, unfortunately, yeah, went down to the play Adelaide by point. Had the game basically there for the entirety of all of 30 seconds. Second last game of the round, we have Melbourne hosting St Kilda. This one will be at the MCG. I think Jake, no Jake Lever, which will hurt a little bit. But, yeah, the Saints haven't been travelling too well. Melbourne went down to the Eagles. Saints went down to the Dockers. Uh, but, yeah, I think Dees to respond here. They should be too strong. I know they can kick a winning score and stop St Kilda from kicking a score. I don't think the Saints can do um, a big score and stop them. But I've been surprised before. Last game of the round, we've got Adelaide hosting West Coast Eagles at Adelaide Oval. Interesting that uh, oh, there's no odds for any of these two games here. Gamble responsibly, of course. Uh, I think Adelaide will be too strong here. What do they do recently? Well, they went down to the pies just. Um, Isaac Rankin out with a hamstring is going to hurt. I, at least I, I believe it was. Then we've got West Coast, who had a good win, a very good win over Melbourne at home that not many would have expected. All right, let's go through. So, 7 out of 9 last week. Let's try and get to yeah, 8 or 9 this week. would be great. Uh, just to get a fire, fighting chance going. So we've gone the Doggies by 17. We've gone Collingwood, Carlton, Port Adelaide, Geelong, Essendon, Brisbane, Melbourne, and Adelaide. All right. So there you go. Those are my tips for round 11 of the season. Guys, hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, give the video a like and subscribe so you can see how I go each and every week. And you're welcome, very welcome to join the tipping competition as well. Uh, the link will be in the description there if you want to suss it out and uh, get amongst the competitive nature of it. Thanks again for tuning in, guys. I'll see you in the next video.